Tonight, a pair of students in Hartford County face charges after police say they manufactured a fake threat at their school. ABC 2 News' Jeff Hager has more on that threat and how deputies dealt with it. Jeff. Jamie, several Maryland schools have weathered false threats since the mass shooting in South Florida, but this time police tracked down the teens behind a cryptic message. Scribbled on a desk here at Edgewood High School and circulated amongst students, a threat that would strike fear into any classmate, any teacher, and certainly any parent. I just found out about it this morning, and it's getting way too close for home for me. I have a son here who's in 10th grade. Um, I worry about him every day. On his face, Harford County Sheriff Jeffrey Gaylor says the cryptic words offered plenty to worry about. The message was consistent with what we've seen other places, that the school would be shot up. But unlike the rumor-driven social media posts that spread unwarranted fear in four other schools in Harford County this week, this time the threat was by design, and someone reported it immediately. It was brought to the attention of the school resource officer uh, who investigated it, and today uh, it, was, it was put back to two young ladies from that school, uh, both who are over 18 and adults, and both have been charged accordingly. Investigators quickly determined that a pair of 18-year-olds who authored the message, Cheyenne Evans and Alexis Robinson, did so simply to have school canceled for the day, and they had no intention of carrying out the threat. When we have tragedies around the country, unfortunately, there's a small number of uh, people who may want to do things to take advantage of that, uh, do things to bring some attention to themselves. Um, so you, you will see an uptick in copycat type behavior. But at a time when the nation is still mourning the students gunned down in its most recent school shooting, it is behavior no one is willing to tolerate especially when the stakes are so high. Even if they don't mean it, they got to be responsible for their actions. And I don't know why um, people would want to make threats knowing that there's going to be some kind of uh, negative outcome. The students face a series of charges, including one count of making a threat of mass violence. And while that's a misdemeanor, it can carry a penalty of up to 10 years behind bars. And 